Slave City family, it is Bobby. I hope you're having a great day. We're about to enter Trader Joe's and continue the theme of what to buy at my favorite grocery stores in the new year. This video would have came out last week actually, but I came down with a case of laryngitis and I couldn't speak for seven days. So let's do what we always do. Go into the grocery store, in this case Trader Joe's, and show you the top 10 things to buy, what the ingredients are, and if they're Bobby approved. Less talking, more shopping. Let's go. On this wall of pasta is quite possibly, in my opinion, one of the best gluten-free complex carb pastas in the world. This is the organic yellow lentil and brown rice spaghetti. It's organic and it truly is just lentil and brown rice. It's $3.29 for a pack. What do I always say about carbs? If you're gonna eat them, make sure they're complex carbohydrate. Well, lentils and brown rice are very complex carbohydrates. They're higher in fiber. They slow the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream. But the texture of this is so lovely and al dente. I've compared it in the past to something like this, the brown rice and quinoa, and the texture is just not there. If you wanna try a fantastic gluten-free nutrient-dense pasta, this is the one you want. There aren't many box mixes for cookies or cakes that are Bobby approved, but Trader Joe's has one. And these are so yummy. It's almond flour chocolate chip cookie baking mix. You get this box right here for $4.99. And the reason why I like it is because it's almond flour based. But if you look at the ingredients, the primary sweetener is coconut sugar. The combination of almond flour and coconut sugar is something we use at home very often. The only cane sugar you see in there is in the chocolate chips. While it's not ideal, it's still allowed. Everything else there is solid as can be. The sugar per cookie is not too bad. I've tried these in the past many times. They're delicious, they're soft, they're perfectly sweet. That coconut sugar gives you a nice caramely nutty flavor. You don't find this kind of ingredients very often in a box mix. For that price, I would try it for sure. And I just ran into a fan named Laura, who's very nice. And she asked me if this one was Bobby approved, this coconut milk. It is, it's one of the better ones on the market because there's no guar gums or emulsifiers. Trader Joe's, the Thrive Market brand and Native Forest are the only three on the market that don't have emulsifiers or guar gum. And that makes the texture kind of goopy. This one's great, $1.99. I always have something like this in my pantry. I don't care how healthy granola looks. It usually is honestly junk food or candy. You look at something like this, it's almost always sweetened with, boom, cane sugar, and the oil is canola oil. Worst in class inflammatory GMO canola oil. But this is one of the better paleo granolas on the market. It's grainless granola. It's $3.99, which is a grand deal. And look at the differences. Do you see cane sugar? No, the primary sweetener is coconut sugar once again. And do you see GMO inflammatory canola oil? No, you see coconut oil, which also has a lovely flavor. And three quarter cup serving only has, what does that say, five? No, six grams of added sugar, which is not bad. And once again, it's coming from coconut sugar. For that price, you take this, you put it over that best in class grass fed Greek yogurt from the dairy section. This is seriously good snacking. If you eat oats for breakfast, say hello to one of the most nutrient dense combinations I've seen. This is organic oats with tons of seeds and grains here. It's a big package here for $4.99. But what I like about it, it's not just oats. It's nutrient dense amaranth, quinoa flakes, ch -ch -ch chia seeds, and what's the last ingredient? Flax seeds, flax seeds, great in omega-3s, chia seeds, high in protein and fiber. I don't really do oatmeal. It weighs me down too much and we don't eat too many grains at home. But if you eat grains like oatmeal, why not pack them with nutrient dense chia, flax, amaranth, all that lovely stuff, $4.99. That's a power breakfast to start the day, my friends. I was just telling a fellow customer, this is literally one of my favorite drinks on the planet. It's the, how's it going? I know you, you can't do that in the store. Oh, uh, I can't do a little video like this? No, no? Uh, why not? I got the boot, my friends. <laughs> they kicked me out. The only place that's kicked me out of a grocery store in Florida has been Trader, Trader Joe's twice. So I got some goods and we'll finish the top 10 video back at home. I'm back in the kitchen, safe and sound, no risk of getting kicked out here. I got the remaining items for the top 10 Trader Joe's haul. But while we're home, I did want to give some love really quickly to Seed. You hear me talk about them all the time. In my opinion, it's the best probiotic for adults or kids on the market. But funny enough, 
we weren't giving it to Rose the last couple of weeks just because we forgot or she just stopped taking it when we poured it into her lemonade or smoothie and she wasn't quite as regular. And then the last four days, we've been getting it back into her smoothies and lemonades and she's back on the train. Why? Even if you have a great diet, fiber rich diet or fermented food diet, which is good for your intestines, but that's never gonna make it to your colon. And the truth is most probiotics die in your tummy acids. They actually never make it to your colon either. Seed of both the kids and the adults makes it there. The adult one delivers 24 strains of custom bacteria that work. And even though the kids one is a powder, the individual bacteria are coated in a lipid that are designed to survive the tummy acids. Both are great. The kids is for three to 17 and adults is fantastic too. So if you're in the market for a probiotic or you take one now, try seed. My promo link down below gets you 15% off your first month supply. They also ship worldwide for a flat rate. If you're international and it's 30 days risk fee, they are fantastic. So when I got kicked out there, I was talking about this. This is the coconut smoothie and I'm going to drink some now because I'm parched. Maybe one of my favorite things, because if you look at the ingredients here, it's a combination of the Thai pink coconut milk and the coconut meat. What lives, try this, Rosie, what lives? Oh, yeah, okay. It's good, right? What lives in the coconut meat? MCTs, medium chain triglycerides. It's creamiest, rich, and then you combine it with the coconut water, incredibly good when you're dehydrated or on a hot summer day. Just in general, a lovely smoothie. Yes, my dear? Yes, I want some on top with a straw and a cup. A straw and a cup? You're gonna have the whole thing. <laughs> Here you go, Rose. It's almost lunchtime, and I'm gonna make turkey sandwiches on these. The Trader Joe's copycat department is always very busy. This is their version of Outer Isle Cauliflower Thins, and it's basically the same exact thing. It's low carb, it's keto, it's made with shredded cauliflower, a touch of egg whites and Parmesan cheese. You bake these in the oven at 400 for about eight minutes. You make your sandwich out of these. They're awesome. This is one of our favorite salad dressings from the store. Now, let me disclaim that by saying we don't buy salad dressing. We make it at home and actually Rose has a recipe, which I'll put in the description box for a maple horseradish creamy dressing that is bomb.com. But if you were gonna buy one at the store, in the produce department, in the fridge, this is one of the best ones. It's the green goddess dressing. Why? Because the second ingredient is whole avocado, so it has a nice texture. The oil is olive oil and extra virgin olive oil. The green onions add a nice kind of onion flavor, and there's no cruddy ingredients. 98% of uh, dressings have inflammatory oils and whatnot. This has none of it. They didn't have the spicy cashew one. If they still have that one, that's another great one. Phenomenal dressing. This is cool. So. Trader Joe's is making their own organic pasture raised. Back in the day when I lived in Chicago, they only had Carol's, I think it was Carol's brand, pasture raised eggs. Now they have their own brand, organic pasture raised, which is great because pasture raised are, in my opinion, the best eggs you can get. But if they're not organic, the chickens still have a supplemental feed of GMO grain. Well, this is organic. So these are chickens that mostly live outside. Sometimes they come inside at nighttime to go away from predators. And the feed is bugs, worms, grass, and non-GMO supplemental feed. This is really cool to get at Trader Joe's, and they pretty much have it everywhere now. If you want the healthiest potato chip, Look at the ingredients on all of them in any grocery store, but even Trader Joe's are always cooked in sunflower oil, canola oil, safflower oil. These are olive oil potato chips. Potatoes, olive oil, sea salt, that's it. This is the best you can do for a potato chip at Trader Joe's, phenomenal for snacking. And this is something I keep in the freezer at all time. Frozen pre-cooked brown rice, because it's a time saver. If you wanna make brown rice, it takes about 35 to 45 minutes. More importantly, if you wanna make fried rice, What's the key to good uh, fried rice? Leftover rice that was cooked the day before. Well, this is already pre-cooked and frozen, meaning it's already slightly dry and it'll soak up the flavors of the wok or the pan. Now keep in mind, it says to microwave these. I don't microwave, I don't even own one. I just crack them out of the packet and put them in a skillet. So between these items here and the ones we got to in store before we got the boot, those are the top 10 things to buy at Trader Joe's in the new year. I think also this weekend we'll have a top 10 Whole Foods and then I'm done with the top 10s. But uh, that is it. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.